Do you have the fantasy of spending your days drinking a cold brew coffee in a villa on a beach in Bali, supporting your travels with a 100% online coaching business? Or do you just want to be able to have the flexibility to spend time with your kids when they're home and work while they're at school, sports practice, and music lessons? Or maybe you just want to be able to scale your business and start working with your ideal clients no matter where they live. No matter what your motivation for wanting to be an online nutrition coach, you probably see that building an online nutrition coaching business is going to give you much more flexibility with your schedule, allow you to work from anywhere, and attract more of your ideal clients instead of just working with people because they live in your local community. This video will teach you what it takes to build an online nutrition coaching business. I know how to do this because I started the online nutrition coaching business, Beyond Macros, back in 2016, but was coaching clients online as early as 2012. And I am still continuing to learn how to run an online nutrition coaching business better every day. In this video, I will focus on the foundational pieces that must be in place to run an online nutrition coaching business. The foundation for an online coaching business of any kind is not having a big Instagram following. It's not having a YouTube channel. It has nothing to do with SEO and paid advertisements, and there's definitely no need for funnel hacks. The foundation of any successful online coaching business is to be a great coach who gets great results for your clients that generates referrals. That's how I was able to build and scale an online nutrition coaching business. But putting the right business foundations in place will make sure everything runs smoothly and professionally. While you spend only 20% of your time on admin and marketing and 80% on delivering a VIP experience that gets clients results worth sharing. So the three foundational pieces you need to put in place to scale and grow your online business are one, automating client billing. Because without being able to take payments, you don't have a business. Organizing and storing client data is the second thing you need to do. Because if you don't maintain useful client records, your business won't scale. And three, you need to have a minimal website up so people who don't know you yet can find you, book consultations, and get on your email list. But none of that matters if you aren't legally qualified to give nutrition advice. I do want to make this important disclaimer and you should keep watching. The disclaimer is that you should make yourself aware of local regulations and laws in terms of what type of nutrition advice you can and can't give depending on the license or certifications you currently hold. I also want to make it clear that if you do not have a formal education in nutrition or even a basic certification, that is your first step to creating an online nutrition coaching business. Reading books, listening to podcasts, and following influencers is respectable, but it does not make you a nutrition expert and it does not qualify you to coach other people. It only means that you can repeat information you've heard someone else say. So make sure you develop at least a basic understanding of the science of nutrition, how the body works, and how food affects the way the body works before working with other people. Giving nutrition advice might seem harmless, but I've had loads of people who we've had to fix after an unqualified person gave them misguided nutrition advice. Education is just the price of admission. From there, the concepts I will talk about in this video are your next steps. The place to start when building an online coaching business is actually the last place you would expect. The place to start an online coaching business is in person. Why? Because if you can't figure out how to use online tools to enhance the experience of your in-person clients, then you won't be able to run a successful nutrition coaching business online. And if you can't figure out how to connect with your clients in person, connecting with them online is even harder. Email and text-based messaging lacks the emotion, tone, and context that you can communicate in person. It is way easier for clients to misinterpret your coaching cues, and even worse, it massively increases the likelihood of a miscommunication that your client might take offense to. And because it costs way more money to attract a new client than it does to keep serving an existing client, sorting your process out in person will save you a ton of money and and lost clients and negative word of mouth within your community in the long run. So now that we've got the disclaimers and important information out of the way, the first foundational piece of starting a nutrition business online is to set up a system for taking payments from your clients. There are a number of ways that you can do this. 
ranging from sending an invoice to custom coded shopping carts on your website that integrate with a payment processor on the back end. No matter what route you go, you should have a business account with a bank. It's important to keep your business and personal finances separate for tax reasons. Mixing up business and personal finances, even for a single owner business like nutrition coaching, is messy, unprofessional, and it doesn't scale well. It also makes bookkeeping and taxes more difficult. Setting up a business account with your bank does require you to have a legal business entity so choosing the right formation of business depends on your situation, but you must go through the process. In most US states, you can create a sole proprietorship easily yourself. And there's also online legal services that can help you quickly and cheaply form an LLC. Once you've set up your business, you will now be able to set up a business account with a local or online bank. I recommend finding a highly rated local bank that has a good online banking platform. Local banks, in my experience, have less rules around minimum balances, which will be important when you are starting out, or if you run a cash flow management system like Profit First. And once you've set up your business account, you will set up your payment processor or invoicing system. I can tell you now, invoicing is not a scalable system for managing client billing, and it puts you in the role of being a debt collector too often when you should be coaching. The reason I say that is that invoicing through PayPal or QuickBooks, for example, means that you have to set up a recurring invoice that gets sent to your client. The invoice gets emailed to them and more often than not, it ends up being filtered into their promotions or spam folders rather than their primary inbox. And then you have to go chasing that client down for payment, find the direct invoice link, etc. It's a messy system and not one I recommend, especially because I had some clients who got their desired result, didn't pay their invoice, but they gladly accepted coaching for that final month and then they ended up ghosting me when I ask them to pay their final invoice. Not fun. Instead, I recommend setting up payment processing using a virtual terminal with recurring payments. This will almost guarantee that you get paid on time with minimal management on your behalf. I now use Stripe, but when I first started coaching in 2010, Stripe was just being founded by some kids in Ireland, and it actually wasn't user-friendly until recently. Before Stripe, I was using Chase Bank's Payment Tech virtual terminal, collecting client credit card details on the phone and keying it in on Chase archaic platform. Although it was less messy than invoicing, it didn't notify me when payments failed and their failed transaction reports didn't show you all of the failed transactions. You had to find a super secret report to get the full picture. And before I knew about that report, I recognized that three clients hadn't been billed for five months each. Having to chase a client down for over a thousand dollars of back membership dues is a fast way to have them cancel their membership because they can't afford it. So now I use Stripe to collect payments. You can set up a customer in the Stripe dashboard, collect the customer's credit card details on the phone, key those details into Stripe, create recurring membership subscriptions, and subscribe your clients to the appropriate membership product. And then all of the payment processing is automated. Stripe will even notify you of failed payments and also works to automatically update expired cards. It's a game changer. We cover client billing and how to price your services in detail with video tutorials about how to set up Stripe and our coaching certification, which is linked up in the description below. The next area we will focus on when building an online nutrition coaching business is on your systems for collecting and storing client data. The keys here are to one, look professional, especially if you are charging a premium for your coaching. Two, to make it easy for your client to check in and input their check-in data. And three, reduce the amount of time it takes you to access and use your client's check-in data. It's also important to store information about your client so that you remember important things about them. That way, when you make a recommendation, you take into account whether it would fit their life. If you have a note about the fact that they have five kids, you shouldn't be making meal prep recommendations for a single person. Storing client information and keeping it organized is also a great way to remember important things about your clients so that you can build a relationship and make them feel heard, which are integral parts of being a good coach and retaining your clients long-term. We store all of our client data in our CRM software, which stands for Customer Relationship Management. This software has the benefits of reminding us when to follow up with clients, when to schedule meetings, and for us to track the recommendations we've made and keep notes about the client readily available. The other software that we use for storing and organizing client 
client data is our tracking software. This is an advanced solution we put in place once we surpass the 100 active clients mark. Before that, we just used G Suite for storing client information and checking data. We had a Google Sheet where clients could track their progress and check in. We had a folder in Google Drive where the client could upload progress photos. This allowed the client and coach to collaborate and check in in real time. Organizing and storing your client data in Google Drive is a great strategy, but it can still get messy. One pro tip I will give is to set aside consistent days of the week to check in with each client. If you do Thursday and Friday check-ins, create a folder for all of your Thursday check-ins and then another folder for all of your Friday client check-ins. Inside of those folders, you can create a folder for each of your clients and add their tracking sheet as well as a folder for them to drop their progress photos into. To make your job even easier, add the Thursday and Friday check-in folders to the bookmarks bar in your browser so all you have to do is click on that bookmark and you're ready to review your client's check-ins. It's a good way to save time. We have in-depth demonstrations about how to set up your CRM, Google Drive, and even give you our check-in sheet, which you can add your own branding to in our coaching certification. And the last thing you need to do to build the foundation for your online coaching business is to set up your website. When you're starting out, don't worry about launching a perfect website with tons of blog articles. You just need a place that people who don't know you yet can learn who you are and book consults or a discovery call with you. This is important because if you listened to my advice and start Started working with people in person first and you get great results for those people they may want to refer a friend or family member so it's beneficial for them to be able to say oh my gosh I got such great results working with Matt you should check him out his website is beyondmacros.com and it won't matter if you don't have a million articles on there what matters is that someone they know and trust has told them you're legit so all you need to show that referral is that you won helped people just like them make transformations. Two, have a philosophy for your coaching that they resonate with. And three, have a place where they can book an appointment with you. You can easily create a professional website with these pages in one day with a WordPress theme, Squarespace, or Wix. The one thing you will have to prepare is the transformation stories. So my pro tip here is to ask your most successful clients for permission to share their stories and record a video call with them where you ask questions about their experience working with you. In particular, what were they struggling with? How did you solve it and what other unexpected results did they receive from the experience? In the business training within our coaching certification, you will learn exactly how to write the copy necessary for a website that attracts your ideal clients in and how to use it to start capturing leads for your coaching services. To learn more about the Beyond Macro Certified Coach Program and our other educational courses, check out the link in the description below. And remember, as you build your online coaching business, the true foundation is getting fantastic client results. To create a business that scales and translates from in-person to online, set up the basics. Low maintenance, recurring billing with Stripe, organize your client data into a CRM and simplify their check-ins with Google Drive, and create a website so that people who don't know you can learn what you're about, see the transformations you've helped facilitate, and book an appointment with you. Definitely hit subscribe if you'd like more content about how to build and grow an online coaching coaching business and check out the links in the description for more about our coaching certification and education programs.